Magic, where girls come from every corner of the universe to discover its many secrets. It is here at the renowned Althea School that young fairies learn and perfect their powers. Oh! Oceanology, biotransformation, and magic physics are just a few examples of the many courses offered here. <laughs> Althea is run by the acclaimed headmistress Farragonda. Just a few kilometers away lies the notorious Shoot. Cloud Tower School for Witches. Run by headmistress Griffin, this school offers courses on nasty spells and cruel curses. a kind, warm-hearted girl who would love a set of glittery wings, then Althea is just the school for you. But if you're leaning more towards boiling cauldrons and macabre apparel, Cloud Tower will have a flying broom and a pointy hat waiting for you. Let's get back to our live coverage at Althea, where both schools are just about to kick off the new school year. Right behind me on the VIP platform, no one's missing. And Althea's most famous alumni are here too, the courageous and spunky Winx Club. Nay, the Winx Club. Profession, guardian fairies of the magic dimension. Relationship status, super taken. They've saved the world from the threat of the ancestral witches and they brought sparks back to life. A kingdom found its princess and that princess found her parents. Gloom's destiny is to become queen and to sit on the throne of Sparks, or an Arachleon if she marries Sky. We here at It's Magics have met with Gloom's parents, Queen Marion and King Oratel. A wedding? Why not? Gloom's happiness is the only thing that matters. Sky's father is a man of few words and rude ones at that. Get lost! I haven't got time for this garbage. These six winks are living in their time of enchantment, and the magic continues. We're on the air. <laughs> These hors d'oeuvres are scrumptious. But now, back to our two headmistresses. May all of you students do your very best. Or your very worst. Remember, magic must be used with care and intelligence, and for noble causes, not petty things like chores. Oh, please, why waste your time when a simple spell will force someone else to do them for you? Mmm, delicious. What's with those three over there? Why aren't they eating? They totally eat if the menu included lizard guts and sheep's eyes and... Uh... Hey, I... Ribbit! Oh, whoa! Oh. Ribbit! 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 Not again! Stormy, Darcy, now's our chance. Ready, I see. Well, well, look who it is. The Bad Taste Trio. Leaving the party already? But the music hasn't started yet. Only you three would find something like this funny. Ha, ha, ha. You fairies are no fun at all. <laughs> Now that's overdoing it. When the going gets tough, the winks get tougher. Believe in your magical. All you gotta do is believe in yourself. And everything will change. You got the power. Believe in so wonderful. Feel the magic coming out from your heart. Everything is possible.
Bombarded Althea with a tropical storm last year, and who stuffed the cake with roaches and snakes the year before? <laughs> well, you're the one who insists on having this party every year. How many times have I told you witches and fairies just do not mix? <laughs> Harmonic attack! Uh, hey, weren't there three of them? Oh! 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 Oh, Stella, did you miss me? and toads. This is really cramping my style. Ooh. You are one ugly froggy, you know that? Have you ever seen a pretty one? Ugh. We'd better get them back to normal as soon as possible. Well done, girls. You stopped the tricks, but more importantly, you protected your friends. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Thanks, Headmistress Farragonda, but uh, we've got a problem. Uh, get them off of me! They're ribbit. getting slime ribbit, all over ribbit, my clothes! Ribbit. Be careful, Stella. Remember, there's still out via fairies. Hmm. Hmm. We didn't do so well. If Bloom would have been with us, this would have been over in 132.35 seconds. Bloom, you know, they probably don't have a witch and toad problem on Spark. Yeah, she's missing all the fun. Ooh, Ribbit, that's all from Althea. Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. You can't spend all day doing nothing. <sighs> Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> More princess! Are you ready for another day of lavish glory? Today you try on your winter wardrobe! Really? Already? Yes, already. The palace tailor needs to adjust all 56 of your dresses. You don't want to end up like the Duchess of Irulean, do you? Well, of course you don't. She wore the same hair clip for two gallery receptions. receptions. Um, thank you, but there's no need for all of this, really. A oh. princess is always in need of the hampering. It's in the rules. <gasps> Here we go. Dress number one, off with a nightgown. Oh, I'm so excited. Here we have a nightgown with a dreamy cloud trim and just a dash of mystery. Where did these slippers come from? Let's toss these. The feet of a princess deserve top-notch treatment. There, perfect fit. How beautiful. Oh. Breakfast is served. A well-balanced diet is vital. Oh. Ta-da! What a treat we have today. <gasps> Lightning fish from the Lost Island. <laughs> Eating it raw does wonders for your skin. And, and your hair. It, it makes princesses even more beautiful. beautiful. Huh? Uh -huh. Where'd she go? Oh! <laughs> your Majesty, Your Highness, forgive us, please, but the princess is... is... I think she went that way. Oh! <laughs> there you go. 
Oh. Daphne? Impressive. <laughs> did I scare you? <laughs> well, of course you did. Without you, life here at the palace would be so boring. What were you running from, little sis? Everyone here just bosses me around. Mom and Dad, too? No, not them. They're fantastic. It's just the rules. The 56 dresses. The fish that's good for your skin. And your hair. It, it makes, makes princesses, princesses even, even more beautiful. beautiful. Trust me, it tastes horrible. I don't even want to know. And what do you think of all this princess stuff? Honestly. You'll get used to it in no time, Bloom. I hope so. Now, how about some good news? You do have some good news, right? Oh, yeah. Did I ever tell you about the rose petal massage? <laughs> Bloom, where have you been? Um, I was just with Daphne. <laughs> There's something we want to show you. What? What? It's Yay! a surprise. So close your eyes, all right? <gasps> all right. Are we there yet? Just be patient, sweetheart. We're almost there. All right, Bloom, open your eyes now. <gasps> Mommy, Daddy, thank you. She's beautiful. <gasps> oh. Her name is Peg. She's a gift from your father. Oh, Dad, thank you. Your mother has something for you, too. Really? I thought this would be perfect. <laughs> thank you. It's beautiful. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's see what you can do. Um, but I don't really know how to ride. <gasps> Hold on. You'll oh, see. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, Peg. Be on your best behavior now. There's someone I want you to meet. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Bloom! Sky, there you are. I picked this for you. Oh. Oh. Uh. Is something wrong, Princess Bloom? Not anymore. You sure? Uh... <laughs> You don't look so, uh, comfortable on that horse. Oh, stop. She has a name. Peg. Peg, huh? Hi, Peg. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say we teach the princess how to ride? Yeah, yeah! When learning to ride, there are just three rules that never fail. Don't be afraid, close your eyes, and hang on.
So, how do you like the royal life, princess? It's exhausting. I don't know if I'm cut out for it. You're perfect. There's not a girl sweeter or more... Remember when it was us down there? <laughs> how could I forget? That's where I asked you to marry me. And made me the happiest woman in the magic dimension. But why did you have those bushes trimmed? Those bushes used to make that corner so much more romantic. We could be all alone, no one could see us. Well, that's exactly why. <laughs> Bloom, uh, there's something I have to tell you. Uh-oh. Starting a conversation like that usually means bad news. Not this time. At least, I don't think so. I don't know where to begin. Well, uh, what? look, we've been through a lot, mm -hmm. and we've always succeeded, mm -hmm. but now I'm asking you to accept the most difficult challenge of all. Which is? Living together, forever. Bloom, will you marry me? Oh, Sky! <sighs> is that a yes or a no? It's yes! A big, fat yes! All right, <laughs> the whole magic has to know it! <laughs> 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 When? when? The first day of spring. The first day of spring. <laughs> Mission accomplished, my lords. Good. Did you bump into those fairies? Those stupid girls didn't notice a thing. Darcy got what you requested. Ha <laughs> ha, well done. Those know-it-alls will soon get what they deserve. Those winks destroyed our prison thinking it would wipe out evil, but instead they set us free. Enough chatter, where is it? Yes, the compass of revealed secrets, the key that solves all mysteries. And unveils the hidden, like the village of pixies. We need you witches to get our powers back. We are finally free, but weak without our powers. Find the pixies, wipe out all the positive magic, and we'll rule once again. We'll do it with pleasure. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Father! I have some great news! A king's happiness is the happiness of his kingdom. I wanted you to be the first to know Bloom and I are getting married! Huh? What? What's wrong? It's, it's out of the question! You, you mustn't! What are you talking about? We love each other! Forget about love! You will not marry Oritel's daughter! Daughter! Don't ask me why, just promise you will not marry her! But this is crazy! What are you hiding from me? Tell me! The truth is a curse that's been tormenting me for ages. What curse? And what does Bloom have to do with it? I want to know! The truth! It's here, Sky. It's always been here. Hidden in plain sight. Too much to bear and too big to erase. All I could do was hide, but the time has come for you to see it. Out of fear, I betrayed a dear friend and condemned an entire city. I've never confessed this to anyone. I just wrote it down for you so that one day you would understand. The Kingdom of Spark suffered a terrible injustice, and it was all because of me. The only way to make amends is by not marrying the princess and hoping that she'll forget you. What was done can never be forgiven. Have you been in touch with Arendor? I've been trying to reach him for a few days, but... Oh, look who it is. Morning, Bloom. You look chipper. You vanished without a trace. Wonder why. Oh, right. Sky is back. Did you go riding with Peg? <sighs> Mom? Dad? Sky asked me to marry him! Oh, Bloom! What wonderful news! I'm so happy for you! I really hope so! Have you already told your foster parents? What do Mike and Vanessa think? Mom, he just proposed! Give me some time! Sorry, you know how it is. This kind of thing doesn't happen to us every day. <clears throat> Listen, Bloom. Sparks is an ancient kingdom, and according to tradition, it is the king who has to choose the princess's husband. It's an important tradition. But what about Sky? Isn't he perfect? Well, I guess he is a king. A young one, but a king nonetheless. But that hair of his is so long and blonde. Daddy. Bloom, of course he's perfect. Uh, 
It'll be the most fantastic wedding in the history of Sparks. We'll invite every royal family in the whole magic dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start the guest list right now. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Well? Poor princess. She's devastated, Your Majesty. She won't stop crying. Why? Why would he do this to me? Shh, my dear sweet little one. I don't know what drove him to this, but I'm sure that when you look him in the eye, you'll understand. He hurt you, but before you go see him again, you've got to be tougher than you are. Come on, you're so much stronger than this. Just take a break from the world and take all of the time that you need. When you're ready, show them what you're made of and fight for everything you believe in because you'll win. Feel better now? No! <laughs> I'm going to speak with Sky. He owes me an explanation. You will do nothing of the kind, Ortel. Our daughter can take care of herself. No one treats a Sparks princess like that. He proposed to her, then abandons her. It's insane! Erendor is a man of his word. It's a pity I can't say the same for his son. This is a disgraceful insult, but I know what to do about it. And I'm going to do it now. Breaking news, an exclusive It's Magic's breakthrough story. There's nothing more glamorous than a royal wedding. Stay tuned. Princess Bloom of Sparks is about to announce plans for her upcoming wedding. Huh? What? <laughs> and who is that lucky man? <laughs> Did you catch that? That's impossible. There is no uh, way she'd go and decide to get married just like that. Not without huh? consulting us first, or at the very least, just telling us. Yeah, to tell us she went crazy. I'm calling her right oh. now. Bloom would never hide something like that from us. Hold it. Time out. There's got to be some kind of reason. All I know is that the TV show got the news before we did. I hate that show. I'd rather watch a full day of commercials. She's not answering. Her cell phone's off. Then, then there's, there's only, only one, one thing, thing to, to do. do. Musa, Stella, Flora, how did I miss so many calls? <laughs> Good, Good morning, morning princess. princess! We don't have much time to dress you and put your uh, face on. What's going on? Today will be a great day. The more beautiful you are, the happier you'll but, be. Wait! Come on, come on, we don't have all day. Can I help you? I'm telling you, it has to be some kind of mistake. Only those on the guest list may enter. I need to see Bloom. Only those on the guest... On the guest list may enter. Yes, I'm aware. Oh, never mind. I won't waste any more of your time. Hey, why don't you watch where you're going? Watch where I'm going? There's a princess in that palace who's hoping to meet Prince Charming. And he very well could be one of us. <sighs> oh, that's the point. I hope Bloom has a good explanation for this wedding business. And more importantly, why she didn't invite us. Hello. Can I help you? I'm Flora, the Princess of Linthea. My friends and I are here to see Princess Bloom. Sorry, only aspiring husbands-to-be are allowed. And frankly, you do not look the part. But we just wanted to... Can I help you? 
You listen here. Can I help you? We may not be on your list, but we need to get in there anyway. Sorry, only what? aspiring husbands to be are allowed. Perhaps I didn't express myself properly. I am Stella, Princess of Solaria, huh? Wink's guardian fairy, and above all, Bloom's best friend. Now get out of my Ooh. way, Jack. Uh, 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 let uh. us through! Uh. Come on, girls! <laughs> Back here. They may be able to win battles, but they don't stand a chance against an angry girl. <laughs> Especially if it's me. Wow, how pretty. Bloom must be loving it here. Get out! <laughs> Knock, knock. Can we come in? I heard they're giving away shoes here, literally throwing them at you. Girls! Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Bloom, that show said something about you and Skye getting married. Married? Me? No. Skye just left me. Skye just left you? Okay, let's take it from the top. Cool? The world's gone mad. My world's gone mad. Sky asked me to marry him. Then two days later, he changes his mind, and now... Hello, girls. Oh, uh, hello, King Oratel. And now I'd like someone to tell me what's going on. The Kingdom of Sparks has its traditions, as I've told you before. Remember, Bloom? Mm -hmm. But every rule has its exceptions, which is why you will choose out of the young men I have gathered for you. Uh, but I want Sky, Daddy. Sky? But you deserve much better, darling. You... you can't be serious. Okay, I get it. This is just a joke, <laughs> right? <laughs> I've oh. never been more serious, Bloom. The princes I've summoned are the best the magical dimension has to offer. At short notice, anyway. But Sky. Sky, He's a part of your past. Your future awaits you in the throne room. Come down in ten minutes. Okay, Bloom's right. The world has gone mad. This kingdom has some strange traditions. Forget traditions. There's no way I'll marry a total stranger. Relax, Bloom. You won't have to turn them down. <laughs> They're all going to turn you down. Leave it to us, Bloom. I think we know what to do here. Um, what's that? So crazy huh? about the makeup, Princess. Why? Am I not beautiful? Makeup is not meant to cover, rather, it's to accentuate her natural beauty. Or maybe to sway someone's opinion in the right direction. <laughs> huh? huh? Oh, come on. Let's not keep our guests waiting. Huh? Suitor number one. Line. Prince Strufus of the planet Scarab. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Whoa! Yeah. Looks like our devious plan is about to backfire on us. Ah! Wow, Princess, you are a knockout! <laughs> Sorry about that. When I hypersalivate, I tend to fall apart. Ugh. You're right, Tecna. You saw him first, so he's all Ooh. yours. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna be a long day. Huh? Princes, princess. Thank goodness. Sorry, am I too late? <gasps> oh. Huh? oh, all right. And you are? Prince Elios from the Kingdom of Akron. Help! Can someone please call the fashion police? 
Hey, what are you doing? If that's his royal attire, can you imagine what his regular clothes look like? Sky, is it really you? I had to see you, Bloom, to explain. You'll find the truth in here. What is it? Read this and you'll understand. I'll find a way to make things right, and we'll be together again soon, I promise. Somebody catch me. Oh, Bloom, you've made up your mind. I'm so pleased. <gasps> Prince oh. Elios from the Kingdom of Akron. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Where exactly is Akron? I don't think I've heard of it before. Uh, Akron is so far away you wouldn't believe. Took me, took me forever to get here. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. Guards! What are you doing? Treating the Princess of Sparks the way you did was a big mistake, young man. It's <gasps> Please don't be so quick to judge, sire. I can explain. Explain? How can I trust you now? You broke in here only to play games with my daughter's feelings. Origin, what's going on in here? Back off! Ah. <gasps> Let him speak! Sire, in here! I don't care what's in there. You've betrayed this family's trust, and now you leave me no choice. Sky of Arachleon, you are hereby banned forever from the Kingdom of Sparks. <gasps> Sky, wait! Let him go. The Princess of Sparks will never marry a man who can't keep his word. Are you asking me to choose between my love and my kingdom? Well, that's an easy choice, Dad. Way to make your daughter feel at home. <sighs> Sky! Uh. Sky, wait! Please! Over there! Hey, wait up! Where are you going in such a hurry? <gasps> Didn't you hear the princess? Get out of my way or I'll... Or you'll what? <laughs> well done, little peg. <sighs> Bloom, I'll fix everything. Then I'll come back for you. Come on, let's go back, Bloom. No, I've had it with all this. I'm leaving. You coming with me? Of course. Mm. Wait! Bloom! Let's see. Looks like we're here. If that thing is right. The compass is never wrong. This way. Ready? Yes. If we multiply the illumination factor of each lamp by the square root of the refractive average, the darkness should be reduced by 64%. Whatever you say, Gidget. The important thing is that these new lamps make our village look super sparkly. Less talk and more help, Chata. Um, a little more to the right, Locket. No, sorry, now more to the left. No problem, Toon. I'll fix this! <laughs> It's the tricks! What are you three doing here and what do you want from us? From you? Nothing. Um, can oh, we talk about it? <laughs> ah, a change of clothes was just what we needed. Boom! Ooh. Girls! Mom! Dad! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 What the? Oh, 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 oh. The tricks are hurting them. Two. Oh. No. Shut up. Oh. Look out. Amar, no. Go back. Uh, lock it. What next? This way. Dimension. 
It keeps the balance between positive and negative energy. I can feel its power just running through me. The negative and the positive. Ow! It burned me! Are you sure about this? It's a very powerful spell, and we... We have the power of the Ancestrals, and now we'll shut down the positive energy and summon them here. <laughs> Are you scared? No. Honest. Ready? Yes. Then let's do it. In the name of the Mother of all Witches, we command you, Shadow, rise up. Grand Darkness, rise up and extinguish the light of all goodness. The positive energy is so intense. Soak up the Tree of Life's vital energy! We command you, Dark Energy, rise up! May the positive energy wither in the Great Shadow's presence! It's working! The Fairy's magic will vanish with it forever! Something terrible is happening. I know. Theragonda, please help us! <laughs> <laughs> Once again, nicely done, girls. All positive energy is gone. Now that there is only dark magic, we can take over magics, and now no one can stop us! I can't reach them. What's going on? My magic doesn't work. We lost our powers. What do we do? Farragonda, we need to talk to her. I think she would know what to do. But how? My PDA isn't... It's digit. There you go. This should work. Techna, Wings, girls, can you hear me? Yes, Headmistress. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. Are you all right? We're fine, but what about you? I'm the Pixies. <laughs> After the Trixies <laughs> left, the Pixies sought refuge here at Althea with me. What could those witches have wanted from them? And what happened to our powers? The Trixies <laughs> emptied this dimension of all positive magic. Those three wimps? How were they able to pull something like that off? I couldn't say. The only thing I know is that they tipped the balance of magic by attacking the Tree of Life. Well, what can we do? For now, stay there in Gardenia Ooh. where it's safe. As soon as we know exactly what... Oh, we're losing oh. the connection! Oh. You too, little one. <gasps> to challenge me in my own house? After what he did to Bloom? Sky must be punished. It's his fault we lost Bloom. Again. What is it? It's what he tried to give you. It's a confession. I think we owe that young man an apology. There's not even enough room here for a t-shirt. <sighs> All done. Next. Uh, uh, hey, wait. Take a number. A number? Haven't you ever been to a dilly on Earth before? You need to take a number for the bathroom. It was Mike's huh? idea. Next group to eat breakfast. Mm, Thanks. Delish. Mike, you just ate. Uh, no seconds. <laughs> this house is just way too small for us. It would be best to make ourselves useful.
remember? Oh, really? Chores. Actually, it's truly been quite refreshing. No powers, no help, just relying on ourselves. I kind of like it. Sweating, gasping for breath, count me out. But it was so nice to see the results of our labor. Sure, it was totally exhausting and our bodies took a bit of a toll, but in the end, you feel a certain kind of gratification. Hold on there a sec. Are you telling me that manual labor is fun? It really is. You should try it sometime. You really gain a lot through magic, but there are so many things you miss out on. <sighs> What's wrong with Bloom? I think she just needs a little alone time. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I, uh, need to talk to Bloom. Please, come on in. <gasps> Sky! Bloom, my love. I've missed you so much. I'm sorry about what happened. No, don't be. I should be the one apologizing for how my father reacted. He was just trying to protect you. Will I hold you again? It beats a simple phone call. Yeah, and it's less dangerous than horseback riding with you. You? We've always belonged to each other. Yes. Bloom. I know what happened to the positive magic. What? It's a long story, and it started with my father and the destruction of Sparks. Sparks? Come to Heraklion as soon as you can. Timmy will be coming uh, with the owl. Oh, okay. We've got to leave here, girls. There isn't much time. Leave? Where to? We're going to Heraklion. Ugh. Here we go again. Bloom's at the park with her girlfriend. Then I shall order my guards to bring her home because I have something to tell her. I, uh, don't think that's a great idea. You'd better go talk to her alone. Mike's right. Is this some kind of a plot? Three against one? Remember, Bloom's welfare is the only thing we care about. Nothing else matters. I can't quite put my finger on it, Oratel, but you've changed since the last time I saw you. He has, since he found out that being the father of an 18-year-old girl isn't easy. Wonderful. The enemy's attacking me from within. You should listen to Mike. He and Vanessa raised Bloom, and whether you like it or not, they know her better than us. It hasn't been easy for me either, my friend. Our kids grow up so quickly, and just when you think you've got them figured out, they've grown some more. Bloom told us about your, uh, discussion. Don't worry. Bloom has quite a temper, we know, but she loves you. There's nothing parents and their kids can't resolve. They just need a little time. Time. Something we have never had. Bloom is our daughter, but you were the ones who raised her. I envy you. If you want to know what you've missed, get comfortable. If they say a picture is worth a thousand words, then a film can tell the story of a lifetime. Okay, it's recording. Come on, Bloom, you can do it. Good girl. Oh. Oh, oh don't cry, baby. Say hi to Daddy. Hi. Hi. A little help here? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm all alone. And memories are coming to my mind of the story of me and when everything felt so right mm, You're a charming prince With you I had my first real kiss I didn't know what to do Cause I had to face the truth Oh baby Don't you know, baby, that you're the one?
Go and talk to her. Daddy, what are you doing here? Uh, oh. I, uh, I uh, was just uh, talking. Not you, you. Uh -huh. I have to talk to you. If you're here to tell me to forget Sky again, then forget it, because I'm going uh -huh. to go see him now. Bye-bye. <gasps> no, Bloom. Oh. Wait, don't go. Let me give it a try. Bloom, wait. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Stella. Mike. I just came to say bye to you and Vanessa. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have lost my temper. Shh, don't worry. I know sometimes the relationship between parents and children can be difficult. It was hard for us, so imagine what they're going through. Give them some time. It's not easy being a father. Trust me. Are you kidding? Mm. You've been a great father. I'm actually over that. We're about to deal with something much more important. So, go and save the universe like always, right? And don't worry about your parents. I'll talk to them. Uh, are we ready? <laughs> Thank goodness you don't have any more parents, Bloom. We'd be here all day. <laughs> huh? <gasps> the Rathion, here we come! That's impossible! Our power! It's not all here! I can feel a presence. The presence of something that shouldn't exist. No! It can't be! This tree is supposed to be dead. I don't understand. There's still positive magic somewhere in this dimension. Try it, sister, or we'll never be able to rule the dimension! Crush it! Ah! Ah! I saw it, yes! Arachleon! It's on Arachleon! Erendor! This is Erendor's doing! He still possesses the ancient power! Ancestral witches! What is it? How dare you interrupt us? Let us tricks handle Erendor. Yes, why not? Then it is decided. See to it that Erendor returns our gift! King Erendor is a good-for-nothing! He better not have lost it! Go find the hourglass that we gave you. Bring it back at once. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like the new clothing line I created? It's beautiful, Stella. All right, Timmy, you can look now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. I gotta land this thing. Whoa! <sighs> Whoa. Just a minute, you've missed us. I missed you so much, Flora. Oh, Nabu. It seems like a lifetime since we've been together. I guess we've been busy saving universes. Bloom! <gasps> Someone really <laughs> missed you. Oh. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. You mean the one who always makes me smile? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nice outfit. It's perfect for our journey. We're going to head to the city of Avram, the Forgotten <gasps> City. I'll catch you up as soon as we're on the galleon. This way, everyone! Let's go, Nabu. Where are we going? To the city of Avro. What, are we gonna fly there? You'd be surprised what wind can do. We're so high up. Whoa. You'll get all the answers when we reach Avram. Avram is a dark city dominated by the ancestral witch's magic. It's corrupt and evil. All things living and otherwise don't work according to our rules. Even the technology is backwards. So we can't use the owl to get there? Afraid not, Cupcake. Here in Arachleon, 
The Galleon is the only vehicle that doesn't use advanced technology. <sighs> How creepy! The waves of dark magic seem to go forever. Not exactly what you call a picnic. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. I've always loved playing pirate. Who would have thought? A flying boat. I wish my yacht could fly. The Galleon may not have jet propulsion, but we'll have the wind behind us all the way. Can't ask for much more, Techna. But as you can see, all tech is rendered null and void. Hey, guys, what's going on down there? No powers, no technology. I'm the most useless fairy. Just a minute. We're almost ready down here. This is awesome. Ready to go. Way anchors, let's go. Remember the crystal container I brought to Sparks? It holds the truth, the key to understanding everything. It reveals the past and shows us how to save the future. I read it, Bloom. It all started in Avra. It used to be the most stunning city on Arachleon. Those ruins are the results of my father's dishonor. Eighteen years ago, the ancestral witches tried to conquer the magic dimension. The Company of Light was formed to stop them. They were a group of powerful heroes and wizards led by your parents. I know that much. Before the witches attacked his kingdom, they found out that my father, Erendor, and your father had an it's alliance. It's good to see you, my friend. It's been great my father was to protect Sparks until your parents returned. <laughs> but the witches destroyed Avon just to show my father how powerful they were. They scared him into accepting their terms. They would spare all the other cities of Arachleon if he would let them attack Sparks. For the sake of his kingdom, my father agreed. Here, this hourglass contains pollen from the Tree of Life, the Tree of Good and Evil. It will protect your planet from the flood of dark energy that will engulf all nearby kingdoms when we destroy Sparks. Many worlds will come crashing down and you can call yourself lucky to watch it all. So my father watched as Sparks collapsed. <laughs> and he was plagued with the burden of guilt. Since then, the ancestral witch's dark magic consumed Avram. Lost spirits roamed freely through its streets. No! Leave me alone! I had no choice! My father often returned to Avram desperately seeking out answers, until one day... The tree's pollen gave life to a new plant. And that's what we must find in Avram. So the Tree of Life's energy still lives within that plant. My father only opposed our marriage to protect you. The son of a traitor doesn't deserve to marry a princess. Oh, stop it. Your father was basically forced to make that decision. He suffered enough just living with it. Those ancestral witches are the only ones to blame for it. If we save the Tree of Life, we can finally put an end to this all. I love you, Skye. Honey, the honeymoon is supposed uh, to be after the wedding, so let's get this show on the road. And let's try not to turn it into a chick flick. Riven, save the jokes for the comedians. We have no idea what to expect when we reach Avram, but we do know that you girls will be in a lot more danger without your powers. Riven will demonstrate the obstacle course we built for you girls to work out on. Ready? Go! Come on, you can do it! Good job! Whoa, watch out! Ribbon, 16 seconds. And that record's about to be broken again. Ribbon? 14 seconds? Now that's a record. Now let's see how well everyone else can do. 
Excuse me? I thought we were just enjoying the show. Oh, come on. It can't be any worse than doing chores in Gardenia. distribution. Help! Guys, get me down! I don't even know how I got up here! Uh-oh. Um, maybe we should start with something simpler? Ow! Huh? Hey, stop! <gasps> Bloom, what's up? Helping Tacna. What, uh, what's wrong? Huh? <gasps> Is this an illusion, or am I seeing double? Huh? You might need some new glasses. Ow! <gasps> Sorry, didn't see you there. <laughs> what are those? They're evil twin holograms. We're close to Avram. This is an effect of the dark magic. So let's give them a taste of what we learned during training. Learned? Like how to fool? Oh. Ow. Yep, that was me. At least I think so. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> Ancestral witches! 
The witches want their hourglass back. Where is it? I I'll never tell you. You don't frighten me. Go play your game somewhere else. Uh, is that a challenge? <laughs> 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 Drop him. You thought you could fool us. You may have destroyed the hourglass, but not the pollen. That pollen is the source of life, so it can't die. Tell us, where did you hide the Tree of Life's magic pollen? I'll never tell you. Which hand did you break it with, huh? We'll let the fruit reveal itself. <laughs> Plummeting to our deaths is not cool. Messes up my hair. So rude. Is everyone all right? We're all good. Just another day living the life. Yeah, us too. <laughs> More or less. So, which way? It's anyone's guess. But don't trust anything around here. Our best bet is to split up and cover more ground. But isn't that dangerous? Nothing glamorous about this place anymore. All right, let's go. Huh? Uh, hey, wait up. <laughs> Sky, Alfram is a really nice, hospitable place. Sky? Bloom? What happened to... Bloom! Sky! Bloom! Where are you? This is ridiculous. I can't see further than my nose. There they go! Hurry, before we lose them again. Come on! Hurry! Arendor! Hard to tell. Watch it. Release him now. It's a trap. The girls are on Avram. They need your help. Go. Be quiet. Go. Okay. Curses. Is it me, or does it feel like the walls are closing in on us? We have to keep going until we find that tree. What about the others? Do you think they're okay? They'll be okay. My father assured me. Let's look for them. Trust me. Don't worry about them. It's Stella! Come on, Skye! What is this? Flora! Flora! Oh Flora. my! What happened to Stella and Brandon? Over here! This place makes my brain want to bark. Wait for us. We'll come to you. Hold on. We'll never figure this place out. Let's try going back. Uh, Hurry up, Stella. Run! I'm running as fast as I can. Looks like you were right. Stella! Uh, Bloom! Uh, come on! Over here! Uh, huh? To think this would have gotten easier. Hurry! Uh, Almost out! Sky, wait! Ah! Sky! You guys okay? From the looks of it, yes. I don't like the sound of that. Not one bit. Come on, let's get out of here. <gasps> what the? Those must be the lost spirits. They're coming through the walls. That's it. I knew this place was haunted. Stella, no! Let's get out of here. Okay, it's okay. It's just oh. an illusion. Hey, slow down. Oh. Oh. Sky? I'm okay, but the, the the tree. What? I don't see anything. I'm sure I saw it. There's just a huge crack in the ground over there. It's an illusion. Close your eyes and run. I remember. Don't be afraid. Close your eyes and hang on. Trust me. <laughs> Now 
what? Wipe you out once and for all. You don't stand a chance now that we're the ones with all the power. Now say goodbye for I don't good think so. this time. You've still got a lot to learn, witches. Oratel! <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss us? So the old hags are back again? Don't you belong in a museum somewhere? I should have known it was you all along. These girls couldn't have pulled that off. How dare you call us girls? Can a girl do this? Uh <laughs> Awesome! You honestly thought that would work? I already defeated your puppeteers once. I hope you enjoyed your vacation from our imprisonment. It's time we take you because back! Because of you, my daughter Daphne is dead and my kingdom was destroyed. Now it's time I make you pay! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wall of Shadow! Uh. 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 Yeah. Come on! Arendor. Time's up, Oratel. Now it's your daughter's turn. Come to me. But why? So sorry. We'll have to reschedule. Uh. Had a girl. We made it. Come on, Sky. Uh. Bloom, be careful. I wouldn't be surprised if these were bottomless pits. Can you feel it, Sky? Good energy. It's alive inside of this sapling. The tree is overflowing with positive magic. It's calling to me. It's so small and so fragile. Huh? Ah! Oh! And you thought you were gonna live happily ever after. I see. Father! Surprise, surprise, your majesty. I'll let you guess who led us here. He's been useful, but like old things, they all get tossed away. No! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right! <laughs> oh, what a tragedy. Now scram or I'll toss you in with them. The ancestral witches. They didn't die at Obsidian. Nice work, Icy. Your job is done. Now run along so we can enjoy our triumph. Uh, run along? Uh. I stole the secret compass. I destroyed the Tree of Life. I found the sapling, so now I want my reward. Well, what did you have in mind? I want to succeed where you failed. I want to put an end to this story forever. Just let me go. I'm only dragging you down. No. Horatel, please. You're risking your life for me, and... And I... I know what you did, and I know you had no choice. Please, don't make excuses for me. I'm not making excuses, I truly understand. In your shoes, I probably would have done the same.
shoes are oh, fading. Oh. 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 It's the pollen. <laughs> what happened? Who freed the positive magic? <laughs> We're safe. Father, I'm my old self again. I really am. Well, I was just passing by when I thought, I wonder what Bloom is up to. <laughs> just trying to do my best, little one. Um, guys, is Peg supposed to be eating those leaves? Peg, stop it! completely reverse the dark energy's dominance. I thought that destroying the seedling would destroy the positive energy as well. Well, obviously not you, arrogant little brat. One fairy? Big deal. I can take her out with my eyes closed. Well, keep them closed because you don't stand a chance against six. <laughs> 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 Power's back. Almost better than shopping. We're back, and we're better than ever. will be merciless. Stop! Stay back! Get over here! We are the Be careful! Hey! Huh? What's happened? Fairies, come play with your new friends. <laughs> Wash it! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
my son. I finally did what I didn't have the courage to do back then. Protect Ox. Erendor. Haritel, your forgiveness is what has made this life worth living. You hideous creatures! You destroy everything that's good just for fun. But not anymore. Winks! I'm so sorry. King Oratel, let's get rid of him for good. I'll go and help the girls with the witches. You stick to the monsters. Specialists! <laughs> Hanks, over here! You might have beaten this sword with trickery once, <laughs> but not this time. <laughs> Just, just maybe, there's still a chance. The pollen is all that's left. I collected some before the rest was blown away. If the tree comes back to life, the magic will come back too. Even the most powerful magic may not relieve this pain. What the? <laughs> Thank you, King Oratel. <laughs> What's that sound? <gasps> the good magic. It's it's coming back. Selflessness is the soul of good magic. Aritel, your actions and your sacrifice have restored the balance in magics. The magic, it's back! <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you cupcake. Suck. Hey! Daddy! <laughs> <sighs> we did it, together. I'm sorry that life pitted us against one another. Yes, but we showed destiny a thing or two. Kids, Sky, I owe you an apology. King Oratel. Daddy, you don't have to. Please, let me finish. Sky, forgive me for doubting your courage. There's no one better for my daughter in the entire magic dimension. And Bloom. I'm so proud of both of you. Come here, Peg.
<sighs> now we can go back home. Last one to the galley and does double chores. <laughs> no fair. We don't have wings. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing more chores. Come on, slow pups. Let's go. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the road. Tell me why sometimes it feels so small. I don't know how. I'm gonna face it all. I need a hand. Don't wanna lose it all. We need to understand. Thank <laughs> you.